Hey everybody, this is Roz. What I want to show you here is something called a glyph. G-L-I-F. What the heck? What this is, is a tripod adapter for an iPhone 4. They don't make it for any other model of iPhone or any other phone. It really is only for the iPhone 4. And the thing that's kind of unique about this product is if you go to a website called kickstarter.com and you have an idea for an invention or some kind of product that you'd like to develop and manufacture and sell, um, you can get investors there. So this product was the brainchild of two dudes that went to kickstarter.com. I, I, I didn't really look at it too closely, but evidently they put this product out there, the idea for this product. And over 5,000 people gave them money to develop it and make it. So I came along well after that all happened and I was able to just purchase it. It cost 20 bucks, which you think may be high, but actually there's not a lot of choices. If you have an iPhone 4 that you want to use on a tripod, you don't have a lot of choices of, of getting this thing adapted onto there. So I went with the Glyph. I like the form factor of it. It's small. You can also attach it to your tripod and keep it there. And you see how it just is very slim lined. It just, you know, it'll hang on the side of my backpack just fine without being intrusive. And, and kind of what I'm getting at is other options for iPhone adapters are sort of U-shaped and they go over the phone like this. And that's just sort of bulky to carry in a bag or, or bulky to carry on the end of your tripod. Okay, so what the deal is, it's a, it's a rigid plastic, it sort of almost has a rubbery feel to it. It has a well here for the phone and the tripod adapter in the back. So you cannot keep your case on it. It has to be the naked iPhone. And you have to remove your case. And I'll, I'll just real quick give a shout out to my Twitter friend, Tony Nathan. We're always talking about what kind of iPhone cases we have. This one's called a case crown, and it's a beautiful red, just really, really nice. It's um, pops out. Yeah, it pops out. It has two, two parts to it. <laughs> Um, it's not silicone, silicon. Um, it's not really going to protect the phone all that much, but it does protect it from scratches. Okay, so... You put it on. Yeah, well, there's the lens in the back. What it does is this just slides into the well of the glyph, your phone, okay? Perfectly. It's only made for the iPhone 4. And I wouldn't trust it completely. I wouldn't attach this to my tripod and then carry the tripod around. I, I, I would be afraid the phone could fall out. But you know what? It's not bad. Look at that. It's not great, but I'm going to say it's not bad either. Ross, can I say something? Yes. Um, I have a question. <laughs> maybe you should show them how it goes on. That's brilliant. Thank you. You're getting well, me to the point, aren't you? Mm -hmm. All right, so here's your tripod, and you just screw it on to the glyph. And there you have it. And that's how you can take video, yep. like, our, um, I think you've seen the, our old video camera, it got chewed up by our dog, and this glyph helped us while we didn't have a video camera, because, I mean, Ross needed to do our videos, so, the glyph help us, helped us a lot, we didn't know what we could have done without the glyph, because... I don't know. We were able to hands-free use the iPhone mm -hmm. video feature. Because we thought we could never do it until we got a new video camera. That's right. And I think that's pretty good. And, and the glyph seemed to, you know, Hold help it out on securely in the meantime. And, and not just for video, for photos also. Yeah, if photos you are perfect. Set this up and take nice still shots. And also you can set it up and then you can run and get in the frame and get some video of yourself, which is nice. Okay, so let's we're really going on and on about the glyph here. So one other thing interesting about it is it's not just a, a tripod adapter, it's also a stand. So you can see this? This is, I didn't yeah, show you this part yet. Yeah, there's a little notch here to, um, yeah, go ahead, jam, oh, I'm sorry, babe. Is that how it goes? Yeah. Go jam on there. It in like that. And then you see it. Um, you see it up. like that. And, and actually, I have a video lined up that they can view really quickly. Here, don't okay. touch, babe. Let me, let me get it. I know where it is. You want to hit play? Go ahead and hit sure. play there. So you can be at your desk, and, and they also advertise on their website. You know, if you're doing FaceTime, then it could be a hands-free FaceTime. So that's kind of cool. 
It you can use your, your hands while you're talking, trying to describe the per to the person what you're talking about, and also it helps you if you don't if your dog ate your video camera a lot right. because your dog ate. It'll help bail you out. Help you keep your camera still. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, don't oopsie. do that, sugar dogger. Okay. <laughs> okay. So anyway, over the years um, that I've had iPhones, I've always been trying to prop them up. I have had all sorts of ways to prop the thing up and you know some were successful some were not but that's this thing you just jam it on there and do that okay. one of her ways was she used a this eyeglass is another case. way they showed it an, an eyeglass case yeah i would open she, it she would open an eyeglass case and she'd put it in there or mm -hmm. she would just take the eyeglass case and leave it on there yeah um and it's good I, I prefer this way it'll fall down less i don't have it right there we go there now i have it right Okay, I don't want to talk about the glyph anymore. Can we be done with yep. the glyph? See ya. All right, all right well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And just, I have one more really quick note I want to talk about. This tripod I got on eBay for 10 bucks. If you search, if your search query is vintage tripods, you can get really cheap, really cool, quality, unique tripods than, than the ones. modern stuff they're selling. Um, um, this thing, I think, is 48 inches. But it actually has like this uh, telescoping feature where you, you roll the, the handle and it and this comes and then it uh, extends another eight inches. So I really like this. It's not stainless steel, but it sort of has the same feel of it. It's pretty weighty. It smells like copper. It does. Okay. Yes, it does. <laughs> Yeah, you're always you don't like, you, Do you smell all my stuff? I mean, yeah. You do. Okay, <laughs> <If> great. You, <laughs> um, I'm worried. If you smell, if um, you don't like the smell of copper, I wouldn't recommend this. But right. Well, this is a vintage love, one. They probably couldn't get one anyway. Right. But there's lots of other unique tripods, and a lot of people do YouTube videos, and I really oh, okay. recommend you go and spend ten bucks on a tripod, tripod and like own this. a tripod and use it with your camera. For some nice still shots for you. Because videos. this one is great. You can elevate it, like my mom said. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just love this. I once built a telescope that I could go on there, but okay. I didn't know oh, what I, yeah. I could put it up on. Mm -hmm. And you know what? My mom let me borrow her tripod. It was awesome. I could see different planets. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. Yeah, that's great. That's great. See how a tripod can help you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I wanted to thank everyone for watching the video and watching the video about mm -hmm. the glyph. Go to kickstarter.com in case you were interested in uh, what, what that thing's all about and investing in people's uh, innovative ideas. And you can get this at theglyph.com. And this is an iPhone. Okay. And also, um, my YouTube page. Yeah, okay. Is... All right, say bye bye.